Hey guys, what's going on? It's been another great week trading. I think Raging Bull is back in force. The Jeff Bishop's Bullseye Trades made over 100% for people that traded it just right today. Uh, well, this week. And I'm also doing some stuff on Ben Sturgill recently. So I joined uh, Lotto X and wrote a review um, this month about Ben Sturgill and Lotto X. So I've done a video on this before. I'll leave a link to this to this review in the description below. So it's um, this Ben Sturgill review and his service Lotto X um, at Raging Bull. You can go and check it out. I'm going to put a full track record in there as I take the trades uh, and as time progresses. So. Uh, last week was actually the first one, so I did this video, Ben Sturgill Little X Review Week 1, and I put in how the, the, tr the trades performed uh, for that particular uh, week there, uh, and they're included in this review as well. So I wanted to give a very brief overview of the service, uh, give you an idea how much the service costs and what sort of value you can expect, and then also a couple of tips and tricks that I found with the service and other services by Raging, Raging Bull to basically optimize your chance of success. Um, it's not the same for everybody. You gotta kinda learn how to take these trades and manage them yourself. And I just wanna give a brief explanation about what I do with these trades and that have worked well for me so you guys can kinda make up your mind whether you're gonna how you're gonna play them. So these ideas generally all work. It's just how to manage the positions it can be a little tricky. So I thought I'd do a quick video on that. Anyway, for you guys that don't know, this is Ben Sturgill. He's an ex-professional basketball player. He now runs like five different services at uh, Raging Bull. So uh, let me show you the services. They're here somewhere, these guys. So Lotto X is the one I'm talking about today. It contains all these different things. The only thing I really care about at the moment are these zero DTE trades. And these happen on a Thursday at a very particular time. And I think that's super valuable because knowing when you're going to put time aside to trade, if you're really busy, uh, can really help, right? You don't want to be glued to your computer all the time. So if you just say, hey, on 12.30 Eastern time on Thursdays, I'm going to take these trades and I'm going to manage them until I'm up 20% or whatever and then sell them and then I'm going to be done. And if you can do that like clockwork every week, uh, it's perfect. Same with uh, Bullseye Trades by Jeff Bishop. If you can just take that one trade, hold it for a day or so, take your profits, you know when you're getting into the trade at least. Um, that makes life so much easier than being stuck, you know, glued to your computer looking for ideas non-stop. And I think that's where the value in a lot of these services actually is. Uh, so this one is particularly particularly good. He has a few others that I'm in the process of reviewing as well. I'm just seeing if I've included them here anywhere. don't see him. Uh, so he does other ones like Dark Pool Picks, Mobile Closer, some of the stuff he inherited from his predecessor, Kyle Dennis. Uh, and he's doing a really good job on them, so I'm pretty impressed. I really like it. The Lotto X has some, basically some good video lessons. It has a squeeze scanner that I haven't really paid much attention to. Like I said, what I'm really doing with this is just waiting for the 12.30 Eastern Time alerts that come out. And there's like five of them usually, five to seven. And then buying them pretty much straight away and then trading them pretty quickly. So the idea is that on 12.30 on Thursdays, he releases these picks and the hope is that they're going to move like this guy, NVDA, which moved 1400% overnight. So the idea is you buy them on the Thursday and the options expire the next day on the Friday, which brings me to the name. So he keeps calling these zero DTE trades and really they're one DTE trades. <laughs> I don't know why they're calling zero DTE, it's because you're buying them on a Thursday, they expire on a Friday, so I don't know. It seems a bit weird. But anyway, they're good at finding these particular trades that can go up, you know, 15x overnight, uh, which is pretty amazing. So these are lotto trades, so really you don't want to risk anything you can't afford to lose on them. Uh, but the upside is pretty big, so they're pretty exciting trades, they're really spicy. Uh, I really like them. Uh, the thing you have to remember though is some of them could go to zero if you hold them till you know into the Friday. Uh, the theta decay will just take them down to zero if they're not in the money at that point. So that's not the way I've been trading them. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. I just want to make sure I cover everything here. So the first thing about this service is you get a live, basically a live trading um, stream where Ben talks through for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes what trades that you know are the trades of the day. So it's Thursday, 12.30 Eastern Time, you, you know, you log in, you listen to him come up with the different trades, and then he also sends them out as, um, like, trade alerts. So if you look at the dashboard on the left here, you'll start seeing the trades pop up. Um, so you can see the times here. 
uh, popping up every 10 minutes or three, three to five minutes popping up. And these are the list of the trades from this Thursday that I played. So that's how it kind of works. So you can either be listening or you can get the um, email uh, trade alerts uh, or in the dashboard they pop up and you can just take them as they, as they appear, which is really cool. So uh, there's a lot more to Lotto X, but like I said, I'm going to talk about the zero DTE stuff um, while I can. So. Uh, yeah, so basically the, the thing I didn't like about this when I first signed up is there isn't an easy to find track record. So you get all these plays popping up. So if you look through your Rage and Bull dashboard, you'll see these guys. Uh, but there's no indication about what like what's being played. Like there's no I bought this at such and such a price or whatever. These are like trade ideas. And it's the one downside, I think, for new people is they get these great trade ideas that do work. Um, but it's managing them, and this isn't really like a copy service. You get told what these trades are likely to be, but you have no idea what Ben's actually doing, if he's taking them or not. Uh, so that's definitely the first downside I'd like to say is like, you, these are great ideas, and in my experience they've been working really well, but you have to manage them completely by yourself. They're ideas, it's not really much of a, like a buy, sell here type of thing. There's no stop loss given, <laughs> it's really up to you to manage them. So if you like that type of thing, if you just want to be spoon-fed some really high probability, high potential profit trades, then this service could be really good for you. So anyway, there's no real track record I can find. So what I've planned to do, and I just started it last week, is actually recording my trades on each one of them. So you can see like what I'm doing. I don't play them optimally. I'm probably pretty bad at playing them, but they've been profitable for me. So I thought I'd kind of share my um my thought process. So here's the ones I played last week, week one. I went through them, like I said, in this video here. So you can come and watch that at this, this article. And then here are week two's results. So I want to go like through what the contracts were, how I played them, and whether I could have done that any better, which is a definite yes. Um, so like I said here, you may do better or worse with these picks than I did. Uh, I tend to be a little bit too impatient and pull the trigger too quickly and get out of things. Uh, that are running too fast. So I know some people did a lot better uh, than I did on a lot of these. Uh, so my whole philosophy here is I'm only looking for a net on the portfolio of these, you know, this batch of stocks or options contracts of 10 to 20 percent and an ASAP exit, <laughs> run to the exit. And the reason for this is these things move so fast and you really, you know, they're kind of buzzer beaters, right? You're trying to get in there, get some profits before Theta kills them or the market turns and everything goes down down the toilet so for me I'd rather be safe rather than sorry so uh, this week these were the contracts that came up you can see a list of them right here I'll zoom in so BABA, Apple, Mara, AMC, LCID and SQ and a mixture of calls and puts so BABA, Baba short, Apple long, Mara long, AMC long, LCID long and SQ short and you can see what I did over here. This is just what I did. And this was, took me about probably 30 to 40 minutes just selling these as they popped kind of thing. So I had some time commitment stuff in the afternoon. And I certainly didn't want to hold these overnight. The biggest wins can be had overnight with this service, but also the biggest losses. So I'd rather be conservative with these. And this worked for me on a couple other services where you'd buy a whole batch of the recommended stocks. And then you manage them in a way that you can't lose, if that makes sense. So I'm not looking for 100% or 200% on the overall basket of these. Like I said, I got 14% on these, which may not seem like very much, but it was very stress-free. So I bought small positions in each one of these, and each time one popped, I would sell. So the first one was Baba, and I got 40% on that. I think it went a little higher, but I was okay with that. Then Apple was a huge one. This thing ran 100 odd percent, but I only got 38% for it. Again, I'm okay with that. Not sure what Mara did, I got 27% on that. So as soon as they started to protect the downside, you know, I started to sell these off. I knew that I wasn't gonna get hit too hard on the other ones. Uh, so I actually just sold them all uh, for this net 14% profit. It was a stupid mistake though, because LCID I should have held it a little longer. It popped quite, quite a bit. Um, AMC flopped, I think, overall, so I, I did escape a loss more than 18% uh, on AMC. Um, but SQ and LCID still actually did really well. So I sold Apple way too soon, that actually hit over 100%, which was awesome. 
Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the way I managed this. I did this with a service called Monday Movers back in 2020. Uh, the service no longer exists, but what I'd do is I'd buy the whole basket of stocks that Jason Bond was basically alerting, and then I just manage the portfolio until I'm net 10 to 20 percent and then sell. And I did that for a year without losing a week. Sure, there'd be individual losing ones like there is here, but overall, I'd be net positive um, for the um, for the week. And that's kind of my goal going forward with Ben Sturgill's Lotto X picks is I'm not going to hold these and watch them go to zero overnight, even if they could go up 10,000% the next day. I'm just going to use them as a, a fun Thursday, you know, Thursday afternoon uh, sort of day trades, which will be pretty cool. Uh, so these were the trades that came out. I just went through Mara, AMC, Apple, and, you know. So you can go back and then look at the these contracts for what they did, so you can plot them in Thinkorswim um, and then see what these actual contracts did. And you can see where I sold and when I when it didn't and whether it was optimal or it wasn't. I could have definitely got a lot more out of this, uh, but I'm happy with the way that, that I traded them. Um, one of the guys I know, he he got 75% uh, on, uh, and it was 75% see also took LCD, so like, yeah, so this guy seemed to do better holding overnight, so he got 25% on one that I took like a 20% loss on, so definitely juggle it around. He does say this was my second really nice win with Lotto X, I'm really happy with him. It's a great service, um, but you have to be able to manage the, the trades your own way that you're most comfortable with. I think that's true in most, most services. I think the risk is if you just try and follow some rule where you're like, I'm going to hold everything till expiration, then you're going to get burned. And what will probably happen is, yes, if you were to do the same thing every single week, you'd probably come out ahead. The problem is, after a few losing weeks, you're going to stop doing that and just go, oh, this is a scam, or I don't like this, or whatever. So you've got to try and massage things to fit your own personal, psychological risk profile type of thing. And for me, it, it's this idea of just getting... 10, 20, even 30% on the on the bundle and then just running for the hills. Uh, and that's what worked quite well for me. I didn't manage this as well as I should have. I probably should have held the losing trades just a bit longer. Even the winning trades a little bit longer. Things tended to still be going up. I probably could have doubled this to 25 or something percent. But I'll try and do that next week, see how it goes. So hopefully that's helpful if you're in Lotto X. There's other trades that they send out, but for me the zero DTE ones are the most exciting. And I honestly think they're really good for consistent small wins. Now, it's kind of against the name, right? Because Lotto X is supposed to be this do or die, boom or bust type of thing. Um, so it's kind of funny that I'm finding more success just doing little percentage wins. Uh, rather than trying to hit the 10,000% increases and stuff. Uh, but it just kind of goes to show that you can make these trades your own. And you can use the ideas, which are well researched and, you know, um, Ben does a great job finding these trades and explaining them in the live webinar every Thursday at 12.30 Eastern. And there, you know, you can take those ideas and you can just equally spread your money throughout the positions and just start trimming things as they pop 30, 40, 50%. And it's like taking candy from a baby, at least for me. Not to say it is for you, but it's a pretty easy way to make a little money every Thursday. So hopefully that's helpful and definitely come and check out this article, Raging Bull, Ben Sturgill's Lotto X service. It's a lot of fun. Cheers.